Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take, it out, take a look at another example of how to use the KVL, the Kirchhoff voltage law, when we have mutual inductance. And yes, we're going, doing it in the frequency domain. And what we're going to do now is simply add up all the voltages in each of the two circuits. Now notice a couple of differences from the previous example is that the current in both I1 and I2 in the two circuits are in the same direction clockwise and there's no voltage source in the second circuit. So the only effect in this circuit here will be through the mutual inductance between the first and the second circuit. So when we add up all the voltages, starting at this corner right here, we have the voltage rise across the source, minus the voltage drop across both the impedance here and the inductance of the coil. So that will be minus Z plus J omega L1, because L1 is the mutual inductance of the, first, uh, of the first coil times the current in that circuit. And then we have a mutual coupling between the two. And here notice that the current is in the opposite direction relative to this circuit right here. So when we travel around the circuit in a clockwise direction, we go against the current of I2. So therefore, it'll be a voltage rise or a plus J omega M times I2. Of course, when we add up all the voltages, it is equal to zero. We can do the same thing in the second circuit. Notice that we start at this corner. First we go across the inductor here, but we're going to only consider the mutual inductance. Notice that the current in I1 is in the opposite direction, and since they're coupled in the same coupling here, the same polarity on the coupling, then we can say that this is going to be a voltage rise from here to here, so it's going to be a plus J omega M times I1. And then we have a voltage drop caused by the I2, so it's going to be Z, the impedance, times, and of course I should write Z1 and Z2 as Z1 here and Z2. So it'll be a drop across the impedance and across the inductance, so a minus Z plus J omega L2, that's the self-inductance of the second coil, times the current, ooh, that would be times I2. I had that wrong times I2. Do they have that wrong as well? No, I got it correctly over here. So that is how we write the sum of all the voltages around the loop using the KVL, the Kirchhoff voltage law. Then of course we can move things across. Now we can say that the voltage is equal to this simply by moving these two terms to the other side of the equal sign. The same over here, we can move both to the other side of the equal sign and write zero equals this with the signs reversed as you will find in some textbooks as well. So you can see that this is how you deal with mutual inductance and summing up all the voltages across the, uh, across the circuit, across the components of the circuit. Notice then if these are in opposite directions, I have a dot here and a dot there, so if they're oppositely coupled, then of course this would become a negative and this would become a negative as well. So it all depends upon your assumed direction of the current and the coupling, the polarity coupling between the two circuits. And that is how it's done.